Okay, so this is uh, five minutes in the morning. The topic today is why you shouldn't participate in surveys. Right, so this kind of actually can go with this other video we just did on uh, monetization of gaming. Mm -hmm. And much of the information they used, mm -hmm. they garnered from surveys. You know what I mean? Right. About how people behave. And then I guess my, my the gist of this is just that I feel like participating in surveys with some rare exception, you're just giving information that ultimately is going to be used against you and is going to cost you money because they're going to learn about you, analyze you, and find ways of things you didn't even know were things that were part of your life that you weren't paying for. They're going to figure out a way to charge you for them. Yeah. And, and part of that will also be robbing you of them first yeah. and then charging you for them, yeah. however they want to do that, right? Yeah. So that's my thing about participating in, in, in those. Um, you you could participate in, and, and like I said, I'm not saying in every possible circumstance, like if you're doing a survey and the community wants to know, should we build a playground or something, you know, that's not necessarily that bad a thing. But personal habits, buying habits, you know, things like that, mm -hmm. I would not give any of that information out. And they're actually stealing it from us all day long on the computer mm -hmm. without anyone's consent. They're monetizing that information. Yeah. We're not getting a cut of that. Yeah. Well, you know, I would be uh, careful of any... Uh a corporation, number one, who wanted uh, the, uh, you, you to participate in any, garner any kind of personal information about you, even even in terms of your likes and dislikes, habits, whatever. And uh, secondly, I would uh, question any government organization that wanted that, or any uh, institution at this point, because they're all suspect in my mind at the moment. I agree. Uh, they are. I mean, they're creations, supposedly, of the people. But are they in any way in the hands or control of the people right now? It doesn't seem to be. So they, they seem to be in the control of people who want to do uh, social engineering experiments, and, and I'm not down with being a uh, participant in a social engineering experiment. No, nobody wants to be a lab rat. It's not fair. Uh, and and I've noticed that nothing good comes out of uh, this experimentation and all this like. It, like they give us, we give all this information out, and then they use it against us. Mm -hmm. It's all, it's never used like. Mm -hmm. The, if, if anyone listens to the other video we made about the monetization of, of video games, mm -hmm. it goes along with that, where, like, they do actually learn a lot about the human condition, yeah. but then they don't, A, they don't enlighten the rest of us, and yeah. B, whatever they do with it is always malicious. It's yeah. never, they never approach it from like, hey, let's use this to elevate everybody, but it's always, hey, how do we just get another one over on everybody? Yeah, which is odd, because uh, it goes back to that, it takes uh, less muscles to smile and does to frown, and yet people are so, uh, so into, uh, if, if you have, have access to information, why would you not use it to help them? Why would you use it to, uh, to, and, and I, I mean, I, I guess unless you have conscience, in which case you can, oh, it doesn't really matter what you do because there's no such thing as morality. Yeah. I don't agree with that. I don't understand that. Mm -hmm. Seem to me to be the people that evolution is leaving behind. Yeah. No, I, I, I don't agree with, <laughs> I mean, that's, yeah. You, for so many reasons, I mean, we're not just islands unto ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. And so, and if you think like that, you're, you're, you know, I mean, as much, even the, the, the greatest hermit or introvert of us is still on some level connected to the rest of us. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You can't get away from that, right? Mm -hmm. so, so you can't just act as if you're not part of a bigger whole because you just are. And everyone is, I mean, as soon as you're born, you're part of a bigger whole, aren't you? You know what I mean? So you can't get away from that. Well, also, uh, you know, look at these from a society point of view. These are things that destroy societies. They destroy people's trust in societies, and then the society itself collapses. Yeah. And it, it, it always concerns me that there isn't uh, larger purposes behind this. People say, oh, wait, this, you, you can't, uh, these are just conspiracy theories. Well, yesterday's conspiracy theory appears to be today's news and reality and, mm -hmm. and that's really starting to concern me i never used to be a conspiracy theorist either now i'm seeing conspiracies everywhere and i and i think they're actually there yeah well yeah i know i mean it's, i i i well and it, i mean the thing even conspiracy that it's some kind of crazy thing when it's actually a reasonable rational word to encompass a real thing that happens all i mean everything is everyone a successful business is a conspiracy they're conspiring to succeed at business right In like, a way, yeah. Everything, you know, anyway, yeah. yeah.